Pavel Lungin wanted to make an anti-war film and show his view of the senselessness and cruelty of the Soviet-Afghan conflict. In doing that, he exposed wounds and deep dissent that fester in Russian society today. Somehow these scores remained unhealed. They are in our unconscious, and they continue decaying there. Longin's latest movie, Leaving Afghanistan, is harshly criticized by some politicians, veteran organizations and activists in Russia over its unflattering depiction of the Soviet army fighting the Afghan Mujahideen. Scenes of looting, drinking and brawling among the Soviet servicemen, they say, are unpatriotic and harmful to Russia's image. Such things only insult our youth, the people that are supposed to be educated in the spirit of devotion to our nation. What is shown there is not true. There were no looters, no alcoholics, no some sort of riffraff. They were an armed, disciplined army. The film's objectors call Lungin a Western spy and want the movie's rental license revoked. For some Soviet-minded people, any truth about their society is betrayal, as if it's some sort of military secret that we have to hide from our youth and foreigners. Some may see parallels between the Soviet war in Afghanistan and Russia's current military campaigns abroad, but his opponents deny the Kremlin has any imperialist ambitions. Russia never was... Russia has never been an occupier or aggressor. Russia does not participate in any alliances and doesn't expand its territories. To its director, the film is an opportunity to help Russian society self-reflect. We do not necessarily have ethical assessment of our own history. The assessment is always the same. Russia is always right. At a private screening of Leaving Afghanistan, viewers welcome the examination of conscience. Nobody needed that war. We couldn't accomplish there what we wanted, and it was probably impossible in the first place. Historians say that we made two mistakes in Afghanistan. The first one is, why did we go in there, and why did we leave? The nine-year Soviet occupation of Afghanistan, dubbed by former U.S. National Security Advisor Zbigniew Zizhinsky, USSR's Vietnam, claimed the lives of thousands as leaders hailed the effort as heroic. For the film's makers, it is now time to take a second look. Igor Tikhanenko, VOA News, Moscow.